Greetings, fellow Prime citizens. I have a .8 pound box here that has the PAP K3 Plus. We are going to open it up and show you how to set it up here today. Knife things. Uh, this one cost $52.99. Plus tax, see what we got here. Put your knife away, safety first. Here's our PAP K3 Plus. Air thing, might use that later, might use that for something. Let's get it out of the way for now. Here we got a funny picture. These are children playing, showing us you can plug it into the TV, 16 gig. All these pictures of these things it can do. Video games, music, videos, photos, whatever that is, pictures, microphone, files, and bloopity blops. Let's open it up here. I went for the blue model because I used to have the old Game Gear that was blue. Pretty small, pretty thin. Little booklet here. Has, uh, alright. This shows you everything you need to know here. Look at this. Do the Star Wars. Anyway, here we go. This is what it looks like. Oh, it's kind of shiny. It's kind of got a translucent thing to it. Oh, boop. There's the battery. Battery plate fell off right away, but that's okay. We're going to put it right back on there. Looks like we need to power it up. Cables. We're connecting. Charging. That'd be it. My friend bought this. Pap K3 Plus, and we're going to try installing my menu on it, Nix Menu, version 13. His looks different than mine does, you can see his actually has games on it, mine did not. That's what it looks like when you turn it on, take my card, I already put all the files from the menu zip and the ROMs that we want on there. Just put it in, go to the file browser, go to previous directory, SD card, D menu, installer, install.dge, and open. It seems like we are good. It still has the screen protector on it. So, uh, looks a little weird. You can't see the battery up there in the corner, but that's okay. We're gonna let him take the screen protector off of it. And uh, let's make it a little brighter here. And then we'll let him play with it. Let's try a game. Cool. Oh, let's see if his original arcade emulator still works. And it does. But so that is great. He's got all the original emulator stuff working, as well as, I hope, the new ones. And yes, that works too, so that's success.